do this a little different today. We're inside because it's really freaking nasty out there right now. Um, this is still prepping day for this hurricane. So here's the thing. If you guys are here in Florida, you're prepping. This needs to be your last day because this thing is coming in quick. It's a Category 5 again. This thing downgraded, Milton downgraded to a 4. It's back up to a 5. You guys need to be ready. <laughs> you need to be ready. Theme park news. Here we go. We finally got something out of Disney and Universal and all the other ones. Let's start with the lesser ones first. Um, Bush Gardens, SeaWorld, Legoland are closing. That's it. They're, they're, they're closing. Not for good, obviously, but they're closing. Um, riding the storm out, they're like, nope, we're done. We're, we're, we're going home later. Um, Disney, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, tomorrow, they're closing at 2 p.m. And then they're closed Thursday. They're done. They're going home, too. <laughs> um... Universal, 2 o'clock tomorrow, Wednesday, closed. Thursday, closed. Volcano Bay, tomorrow, Thursday, closed. So they have finally made their actions, and they made it a little further in advance than I thought they were going to. I thought we were going to get news about closures tomorrow, on Wednesday, about Thursday. I'm kind of impressed with the theme parks. Good job, theme parks. Like I said, though, yesterday is we did get Disney's announcement before Universal. Not what the video is about, though. You guys need to be ready for this. You guys need to be safe. Right now, I'm going to tell you right now, gas stations are horrible. They're running out of gas. If you don't have gas by now, I honestly, honestly, I don't think you will get gas at this point. Um, <laughs> supermarkets, it's 520 right now. At six o'clock, Publix is closed. They're, they're, they're closing until Thursday night. They won't be back open until Thursday night. So this is serious. Publix closed. This is serious. Um, so you're asking what, uh, what, what, what you need? What, 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 what do you need for the storm? Well, you need food, a roof over your head some, you know, somewhere. These hotels, if you're speaking of roofs overhead, these hotels right now are booked up. You are not getting a room anywhere. Is is? I can't say that. I can't say you're not getting a room anywhere. But all the major hotels here in Orlando are booked up. People from Tampa have been taking the warning. Even Sarasota and all that down that way, Manatee County and all that. You guys have been taking the warning and coming up, coming inland. Um. I, I don't even know what else to, to say about this. We're hungering down at home here. As long as we have power, we're good. Um, we will be live streaming. I've decided. I'm live streaming this. We got things going. I figured out how to do this. We're going to do it. We're going to give you full coverage. We got the window cam set up again like we did for uh, Helene. We're going to do all that. We will be covering this storm, so stay tuned to us. Please stay tuned to us. If you really want to know what's going on in Orlando, we will be here. We will be live. We will have the window, the outdoor cam going as well. We got multiple things going. So, And on top of that, at the same time, you guys are entertaining me to keep me going through this storm. It's basically keeping my mind occupied instead of like going crazy in the house, number one. And like, what is this thing doing? This and that, you know? So let me have fun, come have fun with me. Please, please just come and entertain me. So what do we have ready for this storm? So we, you know, they go, oh, charge your electronics and this and that. So yeah, so obviously, you know, cell phone is a number one, right? So we got that, but we also, I also have the power bricks as well. I got one. I got a smaller one. This is, actually has the wires attached to it. And that needs to get charged up because it's down one light. Um, and this has multiple ports on it too. So Jess and I are okay. And then I got the smaller one here as well, which is charged up. So that's got two ports on it there. But the major thing that I have are these flashlights. I got these the streamlight flashlights i got three of them three of them and on top of that backup batteries for them there's more 
also have headlamps. I got this one. Yes, this one's missing the, the strap, but you know what? So what? It still works. It's a light. For those, I got backup batteries too. And, and I have these. Go to Walmart, go to the garden section. If you're in an area that's prone to blackouts and pick yourself up these solar powered lights. They will charge in the rain as long as it's the daytime and you will have power light then. You're, I mean, come on, perfect idea. Just heard of this online from somewhere and this was the most genius thing that we've ever heard of online. Uh, maybe Facebook or something like that. So that's what we have. But honestly, right now, guys, it's crazy out there. It is crazy. I don't really want to go back out there if I don't have to. It's it's the traffic is bad. It's the, the there's no gas. There's the food is closing. McDonald's is closing tomorrow. Okay, I, I found that one out as well. McDonald's is closing early tomorrow and will be closed on Thursday. McDonald's is closing. So realistically, I guarantee what's next. Waffle House will be shutting down. I guarantee it. So. Listen, like I said, we're not trying to scare anybody with this stuff. We're just trying to inform. Um, you're you're needed to tune in to us and just keep with the Orlando weather here. We're gonna we're gonna keep you updated and, on this stuff, and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna we're, we're gonna push strong as long as we have power. I will keep the live stream going. Um, from what I hear, my area doesn't really lose power, so I don't I don't I can't guarantee that though. I can't, I can't guarantee it. So we need it, obviously the backups and stuff like that. So um, the wind, the trees and all that, it's, it's, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough, especially if you're, if you're staying at Disney or something like that, it's, good, it's gonna be a rough time. It's gonna be a rough time. There's a lot of trees around Disney properties. Fort Wilderness is closed, all the campgrounds is closed, all that kind of stuff, it's all closed. Why? Because it's not safe. It's not safe if you if you are in a home and you're questioning it if you have to question it just get out evacuate I don't care where you are if you're here in Orlando if you're if you're Daytona De Deltona it doesn't matter Cocoa Beach if you're questioning which, where you are get out so that's today's update hope this helps you guys I hope this helps you know kind of clarify what's actually going on here in Orlando you know things like that so um, like I said, right now, there, for me to do this this outside it wasn't really necessary because there's nothing really going on. We're going to do the live stream. We will have the outdoor feed going as well. Um, we got things. I got things hooked up the right way this time. We're we're good. We're good to go. So tune in. Let people know that we're you know tune in with us and you know things like that. So all right, we'll see you guys there soon.